What's up? It's your boy, Amateur Pro Home Chef Nathaniel Levinson, coming at you with a hot tip. Today I want to talk to you about food processors. So a food processor is kind of what it sounds like, it processes food. Um, but I think it's something that you actually should have in your kitchen, because right? it, it can just do a lot of different things. It does take up a good bit of, of counter space, if you want to keep it on your counter, or, or cabinet space. But I think it's worth the investment. Um, and they generally last for a long time. So food processors, basically you've got a base with the motor, um, got some sort of uh, you know container with the top. Um, usually I have a blade and several disc attachments. Um, but basically, and these are all these are all built with safety mechanisms, so you can't like oh put your hand in there and then turn it on, right? So you typically have to lock it in, and then the top locks, and then you can turn it on, right? They're as simple as this one just has two buttons, on and pulse, and that's it. Now what, what's great about a food processor is um, depending on how you use it, you can do a ton of different things. You can puree, you can do rough chops, uh, you can do like pastes, um, you can do just all sorts of things depending on how long you process it. So I would recommend getting one that has, you know, a good motor, so you can talk about how it's rated, decent capacity. Um, this one even has like an extra small bowl that you can put in if you want to make like a small amount of something. Um, but have it come with a bunch of discs. So if you need to shred a bunch of cheese, Instead of wrecking your hands on the grater, you could just, you know, use a food processor and it's much quicker. I think we used it for uh, latkes. Um, so it, it really does a whole lot of things. If you need to grind meat, you can do it in a food processor. Um, the, the one thing I, to be cautious of is, is overfilling your food processor. Do stuff in small batches. You know, like I, I would maybe not fill it up more than halfway because once you get up at a certain point, it just doesn't mix so well and you'll end up with, little, you know, some really smooth stuff at the bottom and some really chunky stuff at the top. Um, but yeah, food processor is definitely a must-have in your kitchen. This has been Amateur Pro Home Chef Nathaniel Levinson with a chop tip.